Well, in uh, mid-1979 or so, Dean Jensen, who designed the circuitry of the 990 op amp, sent an engineering paper out to a number of people describing how he designed it, a very in-depth design analysis paper that he wrote. And he said to everybody, anyone who wants to build this is welcome to do so. And I had been working on some sort of hybrid circuits that would fit into an API 2520 format, a little modular op amp. And so as soon as Dean sent that paper to me about his 990, I thought, well, let me see if I can fit that into the same format, which I did. And so the earliest 990s were potted in a black uh, shell like this. And that was starting maybe the middle of 1979. I then decided to go to a full clear epoxy package so that I could show off what was inside. And that has evolved over the years. Uh, probably in the late 1980s, I finally came up with an aluminum shell package and a soft silicone encapsulant, which has been a much more uh, effective, much more reliable package than the clear epoxy one. It's not as fun to look at because you can't see inside but you can still always go back to the clear ones and see what's inside them. But uh, the product has evolved over the years. There are a couple of newer versions of it that have come out in the later 1980s. There was the original 990, but then came the A version and then the C version. And so basically the only version I make and have been making for the last 15 or 20 years is the C version. And that's what's in all of my products.